sprung uh, to depression and anxiety. And right now, uh, it's a time especially that way because my wife who's here, just come wave and say hi real quick. So, say a quick hi. This is my wife Sarah and this is Future Farm Team. That's why I worry. I worry, man. It's like having a kid, new kid, and, and uh, I wonder what kind of world my son is going to grow up in. And um, uh, a few weeks ago, I was telling last night, uh, a few weeks ago I met Ethel Kennedy, who is the widow of Bobby Kennedy. And Bobby, for those of you who don't remember, was the brother of John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy was assassinated. And a few years later, when Bobby was running for president, he was also assassinated. So there I was with 90-year-old Ethel Kennedy and I was holding her hand and I said what was it like to lose your husband and she said you, you know Michael I'm the mother of 11 children 11 kids and that in itself is just incredible but she said that when my youngest was about to be born uh, Bobby was assassinated when I was 4 months pregnant and I was like man how did you while you're grieving the loss of your husband, how did you go in and, and into labor and have a baby? Like that kind of strength was just unbelievable to me. And uh, she said, you know, it was hard. After that, you know, I had to really think about what I was doing with my life, and politics in the country, and just trying to raise 11 kids, and, you know, 11 broken hearts, 11 broken arms, 11 homework times to do, 11 math tests to do. And, uh, she said, but what I decided to do is rather than just quit and roll over, I decided to start Robert F. Kennedy Jr., uh, the Center for Human Rights and Social Justice. That's to say, so rather than just roll over, I committed myself every day to fighting for human rights and social justice all around the world. And uh, Bobby was a hero of mine because he would go and march with Cesar Chavez and United Farm Workers. He would march with Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement. He was out there every day working with unions and with labor. And uh, in 1966, he was invited to South Africa to go see what was happening with the situation of apartheid and Nelson Mandela's imprisonment. In 1966, he was the first senator to ever go there. And while he was there, he met with lots of different groups of people, and he delivered this speech. I just want to read you a little bit. It said, It is from numberless, diverse acts of courage and belief that human history is shaped. Each time a man or woman stands up for an ideal, or acts to improve a lot of others, or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope, and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples become a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. And as he flew out of South Africa, he was in his plane with the whole world's press corps, and he had the plane do this. He asked the pilot, right when they were flying over Robben Island, where Nelson Mandela was in prison, he asked the pilot to do this. And they dipped their wing, and they saluted, and they waved to Nelson Mandela while he was in prison. And the whole world's press corps went out and they told the world about Nelson Mandela. And that's how most of us came to, to hear about it. It was just through one person saying, I see you. I'm here and I see you. I see what's going on in your country, in your city, in your town, or in your home, or in your school, or with your family, or with your neighbors. And I see you and I get it. And I really believe that's what we need right now more than ever. We need to just look out into our communities, fuck all the political lines, fuck all that shit. Just look and see each other and say, I get you. I see what you're doing. I see what's happening in your family, and I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. And so uh, this right here is a song of optimism. <laughs> and it is a song. It's a song that says, despite whatever is going on in the news, that there are still billions of people around the world doing billions of little things every day to make billions of people's lives better, and that in fact, we really do care. It goes like this. Every day I wake up and turn my phone on. I read the news of the day, decides it's calm down. I do my best 
not to let it get me down I try to keep my head up, but this is Babylon This world's a crisis, we try to fight it, this changing climate With scientists and with politicians divided by it So many ways we could solve it, but they would never sign it This mountain's tumbling down, but still we try to climb it It's in the Torah, Quran, and in the Bible Love is the message, but somehow we turn to rivals It's come to people always picking up their rifles Another school getting shot up homicidal Some people trying to look fly, some people trying to get high Some people losing their mind, some people trying to get by When you look in my eyes, you see the sign of the times And we all looking for the same thing, yeah but what if his song was number one? Would it mean that love had won? Would it mean that the world was saved? And no guns are being drawn today. What if everybody had a job? And nobody had to break a law? What if everyone could say, yeah? That it's good to be alive today. This is good to be alive today. That it's good to be alive today. Yeah. This is good to be alive today. Yeah. Alive today. People used to be sick when they would hear a siren. That kept his arms waving, but now they only think of violence. Another youth in the streets of police is in a conflict. And now we hear the guns click. Yo, you bought a crisis and ISIS is taking heads off. I don't buy my village and now my kids off. Signing up to be soldiers, but they're all willing now to do the killing now. But are you willing now? Some politicians out there making up some problems. Trying to tell the people that they can solve them with TV shows and sound bites and codes. But everybody knows that it's all about the cash flow. They're telling you and me, we'll make it progress. But tell it to the millions who are jobless. It's like a place club of billions of dollars to get the votes you got to make it rain in Congress Some people trying to look like, some people trying to get high Some people losing their minds, some people trying to get by When they look in my eyes, you see the sign of the times We all looking for the same thing, yeah and What if this song was number one? Would it mean that love had won? Would it mean that the world was saved? And no bombs are being dropped today what if everybody had a job and nobody had to break a law? What if everyone could say, yeah? That it's good to be alive today. It's good to be alive today, yeah. That it's good to be alive today. Shot, 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 shot. 
But if everybody had a job and nobody had to break a law, what if everyone could say hey? That it's good to be alive today.